so I looked around online to find find an answer for this and, and was kind of having trouble finding it. But here's what happens if you ever notice your passenger carpet getting wet on the inside of the, sl uh, inside of the cab. I'll show you what, where it was, what happened in mine. This area here on the passenger side was completely soaked, just saturated with water. So what I did was I obviously pulled up the floor mat and I had to get a towel and completely soak that water up and then go wash that towel. Obviously it was pretty damp. One of the things is the condenser is behind this panel here. If you ever have to have your air conditioner worked on, you might want to have them check that condenser to make sure the coils on the side uh, aren't full of dirt because the return fan right there, the filter for your fan is right under that door. And I take that out about every week or two and clean it out it's a self-washing filter that's where you'll notice the water right away is under here okay so i'm going to get out and i'm going to show you behind the firewall uh, on the engine side one of the reasons that it might be doing that is the drain line from your uh, condenser because it will put out it'll emit water it drips water and if you notice uh, if you run your air conditioner during the summer heat, there's, there's there's usually water underneath your truck, and that's where that line's supposed to drip. Now, it can continue dripping, but if it's plugging up at all, it will back up into the carpeting on the passenger side of your of your cab. So here's the, this hose right here is the drain valve for my truck, and when I squeeze this, you can see the end of it, it's just a slit. And that's what allows the water to drip out of this this little slit is designed to keep dust and dirt from getting into your uh, drain valve when i squeeze this two gallons of water came out i mean it was this whole puddle here so that's uh that's what happened you don't want it to plug up because it's real simple to do that but just squeeze that make sure there's no debris inside that line that'll help you quite a bit Okay, um, I want to share a couple words of wisdom here. Now, if you find that your Freon is low or it's just not cooling like it should, and the only way to check that is to check the Freon level, you're going to have to evacuate your Freon and have a tech or yourself, if you have the right tools to evacuate and store Freon, um, you're going to have to have a tech find the issue, find the leak, fix the leak, and then put the Freon back in the system. Now, keep in mind, if they don't ev evacuate all the air out of your system, you're not going to be able to fill it up with a proper amount of Freon. It'll never be filled up to its maximum capacity, which is probably two pounds. That's not a good thing because your Freon, your Freon, your system won't cool like it should properly. The big issue is if you leave air in the system when you put Freon in and it's not, the air isn't vacked out, which you need a special tool to do that. And you can buy it on Amazon if you got to do it yourself. It's about a hundred bucks. If you don't evacuate the air out there's going to be some moisture in that uh, system you don't want moisture in your system it's not a good thing even though most of the system is aluminum you don't want moisture and air in your system you want just freon so make sure that they evacuate the air out of your system when they do that I i'm not saying that a good tech wouldn't do that but just double check hopefully that'll help with your wet carpet issue if nothing else uh that you might have a drain valve that a drain tube that's plugged and that's the easiest way to, to unplug it is what i just showed you so uh, I hope that helps and good luck and see you in the next one.